It was back on April 17th that the body of 22 year old Mercedes Vega was found inside of a burning car in Tonopah. She was abducted from her apartment complex in Tempe. Months later, no arrests have been made. 12 News journalist Bianca Bono sitting down with Mercedes family and we do want to warn you the details in this story are graphic. She was probably seven or eight. Seven or eight. So we were in Hawaii and um, she wanted to sing karaoke. Reliving memories like this one is what's keeping Tom and Erica Pillsbury going. She got up and started singing the national anthem and the entire street just stopped. They're talking about their daughter, Mercedes Vega. From a young age, she was confident and driven. Her personality, magnetic. She loved horses so much and they loved her. She yeah. had something about her that babies were calm with her and animals now they're experiencing a kind of pain that's impossible to grasp i don't understand why someone would take her life it just doesn't make any sense at just 22 years old mercedes was murdered these people actually tortured my daughter on the night of april 16th around 9 15 surveillance footage shows mercedes walking to her car at her tempe apartment complex she was heading out to meet friends and it's the last look at her before she was taken this is so hard for us to grasp because she did not think anything was going on because if she did, she would have been paying attention to her surroundings. Her parents say just seconds later, Mercedes was attacked. She was hit over the head and there was tissue and blood in the parking garage. What happened next is still unknown, but at one o'clock in the morning, a shocking discovery. As Mercedes' car was found abandoned, parked illegally not far from Mill Avenue, a burning car was spotted on the I-10 freeway just west of Tonopah, and Mercedes' body was found in the back seat. According to the medical examiner's report, she died of smoke inhalation. This lets me sleep at night, is that she was like sleeping and she didn't feel anything. But the report also revealing the type of evil Mercedes faced before she died. The 22 year old had bleach in her throat. She was shot in the arm and had blunt force trauma to her head. She was tortured, whether it's because she knew something. I do believe that she was targeted because of the nature of the crime. Mercedes danced at a club two nights a week, but her parents say if there had been any safety concerns or people she was suspicious of, she would have said something. We have to fight for her because she does matter. It's not just her parents fighting for her. Dozens of friends and loved ones refusing to give up, spreading awareness about what happened online and in Tempe over the seven months that have gone by since that horrific night. According to the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, they're still actively investigating this homicide case, but no suspects have been publicly identified and no arrests have been made. This is solvable, so solve it. It's yeah. been seven months. If it's solvable, solve it. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of waiting. One month before she was killed, Mercedes visited her favorite place, Hawaii, one last time. When she came back, she said, Mom, I want my kids to cremate me and spread my ashes in Hawaii because that's where my soul belongs. <laughs> her own parents now left with her final wish. She should be us. It should be her kids. She wants to be a mom. Their unimaginable grief made heavier by a lack of answers, sharing their daughter's story in hopes that the people responsible for ending it will be brought to justice. Do we believe someone in our hearts? Yes, we do believe someone will pay for this but it's really hard to sit back. Someone could be listening to this and they could call in on that line and, and maybe help solve this case. If you have any information about what happened to Mercedes Vega, her parents are begging you to come forward. You can contact MCSO or you can reach out to Silent Witness and remain completely anonymous. Just call 480-WITNESS. Bianca Bono, 12 News.